So yes, we have been created for ibadah, but one of our problems as Muslims, we think that ibadah is only inside the mosque. So we have developed a dual personality. We have become two personalities in one, split personality. We have one personality when we come into the mosque. When everyone's coming to the mosque, they get clean. They put on kufi. They put on hijab. They put on the atar. They put on the, uh, the what would you call it? Uh, what do you call the khamis? Huh? What kind of khamis is called? Shawal khamis, huh? Yes. We put on the thawb or the shamak. Or we do this, or we do that. And the sisters put on the, the purda, or the, or the hijab. Or we do this, or we do that, and put the kufi on. And we tell our son, take the kufi, put the kufi on your head. Don't go in the mosque without this or that. Because when you enter the mosque, you think that somehow or another, the mosque deserves this more than the earth. But our Prophet wasallam said, he was giving something by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which the other anbiya that was not given. All the other anbiya which came before him, all the other ummah that came before them, they had to do their worship inside of a special place. But the Prophet said, Allah gave me something special for my ummah that he made the whole earth for us as what? A mosque. This means, brothers and sisters, this building does not deserve any more respect than the rest of the earth. It is just that this building, we have set it up as a clean environment specifically to accommodate our prayers, our meetings, our gatherings. And we want it to have specific features, and there's nothing wrong with that. But do you think we're supposed to act one way in the mosque? And as soon as we go outside the mosque, we act a whole other way? There are men and women sitting here right now who earn their money from haram. They have their investments in haram. And you can visit them in their haram businesses. And some of you, you know them. But when they come to the mosque, they are very pious. And they are crying the most in the Tarawi prayer. In Ramadan, in the first rank, second rank, sometimes the people who are the biggest sellers of haram, they are there. And one day Imam says, Inna lil muttaqeena mafaza hadaika wa a'naba wa kawaiba atraba wa ka'asan bihaqa. They are falling down and crying. But also the Imam is also saying, Inna jahannama kanat mirsada Littaagina maaba Labithina fiha ahqaba La yadhukuna fiha barban wa la sharaba So they are not crying about that They are crying about something else This is the dual personality of the Muslims And Muslims I'm saying to you and I Khalid He needs to reform his behavior because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to us, He says, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, lima takooluna ma la taf'aloon? Oh, you who believe, why is it that you say, why is it you say with your mouths, why do you profess, why do you claim that which you don't really do? Kabura, maqtan, and Allah, that you say what you don't actually do. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is warning you and me about hypocrisy. About having dual behavior. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes he came to teach us worship. Yes he came to teach us about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But he also came to teach us to do what? To follow him. Not just to say, I love Allah. 
So a man is making dhikr, dhikr, subhanallah, 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 alhamdulillah, 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 la ilaha illallah, allahu akbar, allahu akbar, allahu akbar. And the man, he's saying this all day long. And he's making raka'ah all day long. And he's praying all day long. And all night long. And he's traveling this place and that place for knowledge and everything. So the Prophet ﷺ said, Such a man, he has traveled far and wide. And his clothing is dirty. And his hair is all on top of his head. And then he stops and he says, Ya Rabb, Ya Rabb. Wa mat'amahu haram. Wa malbasahu haram. وَمَشْرَبَهُ حَرَامٌ وَغُضِيَ بِالْحَرَامٌ His food is unlawful. His drink is unlawful. His clothing is unlawful. And what he nourishes himself and his family from, and what he is developing himself and sustaining himself from is what? Haram. So the Prophet ﷺ said, How can he expect to be answered? So, O oh Muslims, if our speech is haram, and our actions are haram, and our behavior is haram, if we are acting unlike Muslims, and we are behaving unlike Muslims, and we are speaking unlike Muslims, and we are not living as Muslims, and we have this double standard that we pray and we say in the mosque, but when we live outside in the society, we are living as someone else. It means that we will be the first people punished on the Day of Judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He promises us punishment and humiliation in this life and also punishment and humiliation in the hereafter. What must we do to remove this from ourselves? We must reform our behavior.